Charles Corner. And I am here speaking to Fatima Klein about her big fight, her pro, her pro, her episode debut coming up for Aggressive Combat Championship 21, September 21st at Westchester County Center. Fatima, how are you now that the technical difficulties are <laughs> I'm good. How are you? I'm good. If technology doesn't like me, that happens all the time. Me too. People think just because I'm 19, I'm in this new age that I know what I'm doing. Oh, I know how to control my phone, and that's about it. <laughs> You're like, I fight. And I tell people, I'm like, listen, I, I like to interview and I like to talk. So other than that, I'm not technologically sound, although I'd like to be. But anyway, <laughs> how? I had to just get rid of a phone call every time. Okay, so you have a big fight coming up against Chris Hannaford. How excited are you, one, that this right, fight ready? is finally coming to fruition? Because we, this fight was booked last year. Yeah, yep. This fight was booked last year. Um, Just, it wasn't... I knew just because it didn't happen, I knew it wasn't meant to happen at that point. But now that it's happening, I know it's meant to happen. I know it's going to go down. And I'm excited to see, you know, I'm excited to show my final project. I've been just working on so many things, preparing for this. And the door has finally opened and I'm walking right through it. I love it. Now, what background do you have in fighting? Because... The, you know, a lot of people think that, okay, MMA, well, you know, you know everything. No, some people start out specifically in one, and then that's where you pick up everything. Where did you start? I started in uh, Holbrook, Long Island, in uh, Vamos Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu at 10 years old. Uh, my mom initially put me in it for uh, self-defense reasons. Um, as I got older, I grew a love for it. I grew a desire to do it. Um, at the age of 15, I started kickboxing, Muay Thai boxing. I started striking my whole striking game. And uh, a couple of years later, thinking about career choices, what do I want to do? And I was like, I knew this is what I want to do. I was like, this is for me. I believe I was born to do this. Um, just people were put in my way that just would help me incredibly. Mike, Mike was put right in my path that, you know, even now he's been the best coach. He's been so supportive of me and so putting so much effort into me. And it's just, I'm grateful for everybody around me who's helping me out, getting me ready for this fight. Well, it's super important. And uh, Mikey is super talented. And, uh, you know, everybody up there at Black Hole is a killer. So I think that you definitely made a very smart move in telling there. And, um, you know, you've been, you've uh, clearly, as uh, we talked before, you, you are very, um, very seasoned in the way that you talk. You speak beyond your years. So when I asked you earlier, you know, <laughs> doing other things other than fighting, because if this is your debut, you sound like you've been fighting since you were a little kid. Yeah, I mean, I mean, it's all as my mom says it, and as I've grown to, you know, grown into this, it's, I believe it's God given. You know what I mean? Just He has blessed me with the ability to fight, the desire to fight, and the mentality to fight. Because as much as it's physical, it's a lot of mental. And you know, without without Him, without God in my life, I wouldn't be able to do it. Definitely not. Because last year, so much of earthquake was going on and it that's why it didn't happen because it just wasn't meant to happen now it's meant to happen i'm ready i love it and you know it's funny because um i i interviewed chris i think before her first debut uh for acc and she's a very spiritual woman too and so am i so we talked about that a lot and i think that that is so important to talk about because people are so like they're, I think they're almost timid and afraid to think about their faith. And, and I mean, for me, if you look at it, a lot of people go, well, you know, if you're, you know, really spiritual, you're really religious, how are you into fighting? And right. I'm like, well, fighting's been around since the dawn of time. And if you look into the Bible, I think the first fight in the Bible, well, the first death in the Bible was what Cain and Abel, and that's technically the first fight. So then you go in, yeah. right? And, and and you look at like Davy and Goliath. So like I look exactly at life, there's Goliath everywhere you know right. what I mean and that's, yeah you know were you built to be a David or were, were you yeah. built to you know, wilter and fall you know and I yeah. think that you could clearly see that this is something that you were made for absolutely I mean you know God calls us to be public about our faith you know what I mean and for him being public and dying on the cross for me why should I hide my faith when I'm when I'm not dying on the cross you know what I mean why should I hide my faith in front of people when I know he saved me 
And this could just be a testimony to other people, you know? It, it is, and I actually like that, that that happened before, because to be honest with you, like, I had that, I've had so many weird little, like, technological issues, but then, like, something great came out of it. And you know who's yeah. also very, very spiritual, Chris Cyborg. We spoke in length about her faith in our interview, and it was just, it really, I think more people need to do it. And, you know, it was funny, because I had somebody say, that, you know, you put up a lot of religious stuff, and I said, well, no, I put up a lot of stuff that centers around God, but it doesn't it really matter what who what god you call your own whether it's allah or whoever it doesn't doesn't matter to me you know what i mean i said and even you you're an atheist and she goes yeah and i said well, you don't believe in god or any god and she's like well yeah and i said but the god that i believe in loves you believes in you and everybody else and she yeah. didn't even let to say she's actually kind right. of taking it back by it. yeah i mean regardless of like you know so many people could say well what about this and what about that and what about darn what about evolution you know the only way we could truly people could truly see god see god is when they see it in people you know what i mean mm -hmm. you could give them all the facts all the information but if it's a mind thing it shouldn't be that it's a it's all about the heart so if god's living Absolutely. in you living in your heart people are going to see that rather than seeing all the all the facts and statistics uh, so I that's what it. i'm trying to show I love it. Me too. Uh, and it's funny because it, it is, it's almost taboo. And especially in this industry, you know, people get really like, uh, what was it? Tim Tebow, who wasn't allowed to kneel. Um, he's a football player. So it's not our industry, but like, it's still it's, it's taboo that it's like, okay, well that's accepted that you can go, you know, say, okay, well he can't kneel, but then you got all these people that can, you know, uh, kneel for other. It's, it's, it's crazy. And politics yeah. aside, I tell people, I'm like, his reason is the best reason to do it, you know. Yeah. Like I, Bilal Muhammad, one of my favorite fighters, uh, Khabib, and they don't pray to the same God I do, but they do. You know what I mean? Right. They, it's just there's something to be said for that, especially in, yeah. in the fight. Yeah, especially I mean, like, you know, my future goal is to go pro. You know what I mean? And so many people are nowadays are like, well, how do you expect to go pro and make it big with if you don't have a big mouth and you don't, you know, I mean, talk talk bad to people and I'm like God will make a way for me I don't have to put on a false facade in order to make it if I'm meant to make it he'll open the doors for me and I could be my true self with him living inside me and be able to make it there I love it and it's so true it's so true that's like you couldn't have said it any better I absolutely love it I love it and speaking of pros who have you looked up to in the pro world of MMA that maybe like said, okay, you know what? Well, she can do it, I can do it. Are there any females that really stick out in your mind that were like super influential in coming and solidifying being an MMA fighter? Absolutely. I mean, like you just said her name, Chris Cyborg and Rose Amanunas, how, you know, when Joanna got in her face, you know, she said it herself, she was crying. You know what I mean? And that's, that's, that's definitely the character I strive to be like is just have that humble attitude, you know, know that whatever happens at the end of the day, I've tried my best. You know what I mean? Absolutely. And, you know, he's got a higher plan for me and no matter what happens, he's got it. And that's, that's what I hold on to. That's what keeps me sane. That keeps me, you know, as much as nerves will kick in here and there, you know, be anxious for nothing, but in all yeah. things, pray with it. Thanksgiving. Absolutely. You know, it's funny. I actually, uh, I want to go. I want to get a bunch of uh, girls together and go see Joel Osteen. Everybody's like, you want to I'm like, I love Joel Osteen. That's my thing. Like, I don't think you guys understand. He's like, I listen to XM only for him. Because, like, you can be, I can listen to music, and when you really listen to the words of a lot of songs out there, they're not happy and right. not uplifting. So, like, what I can pay, in, you know, $5 a month to listen to Joel all the time and be happy. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I'm actually having one of my uh, uh, pastors from, uh, I go to Calvary Chapel of the Hudson Valley, and my head okay. pastor is Bobby Hargraves, but uh, another one of my pastors, Nick Santos, he's actually coming for my fight, so he'll be praying over me. I hope he sees this because... <laughs> They all know I need it. <laughs> I so they're awesome. Oh, oh, thank you. God. Thank you. Yeah. You're welcome. The, the most, most powerful thing. So it, it really, truly, truly is. You know, 
I mean, yeah. I wouldn't be where I am if I didn't, you know, right. have God in my life. But it's, yeah. it's as true as it gets. I mean, I, I didn't become an MMA reporter at 37 years old with no experience in being a journalist for no reason. You know what I mean? Things right. like you said, God opens doors and has a way. And I actually uh, got in a really bad injury that led wow. me to do it because I couldn't, I couldn't fight anymore. I couldn't do care anymore. I'm starting to get fully into it. My arms are getting better. Yeah. But when I couldn't, I was really upset. And I said, well... What am I going to do? And one of my friends said, did you ever think about writing and doing interviews? And, you know, here we are today. And it's funny because I said, I'm like, I feel like God threw me down those stairs to give me a new life. Right. <laughs> yeah. I, found. <laughs> I didn't break my neck. I didn't break my back. You know, yes, my shoulders. Exactly. It humbled me because I, you know, got to be a little bit more chill. But, you yeah. know, you got to look at the good and the bad. Yeah. There's a reason for each season. So. Absolutely. And now we got... 10 days, you're 10 days out from your, from your fight. What does yeah. the next 10 days look like for you? Next 10 days look like, um, actually, the end of this week will be the last of my, you know, strictly hard training. Um, next week, we'll tone it down a little bit, but keep the intensity the same, just trying to stay healthy at this point, stay injury-free. Um, my weight's on point. Everything seems to be working out. Everything seems to be on point. So, uh, just from here on then just now we're just coasting through and keeping healthy keeping safe so that's the way to do it do you guys like cut hard sparring out you know about two weeks before to make sure i mean i i, I, I would be crazy on sparring but if i can but yeah. you look like you know that it's mike too you guys know what you're oh yeah definitely i mean mike's been having a game plan for me Good. from months now he's been we've both been just talking and preparing for this and so yeah we definitely you know sparring is now cut out you know just to keep me safe keep me healthy don't want any last minute injuries um stop the dead. uh but you know heavy pad work heavy jujitsu rounds and just flowing through it now we're just flowing through it getting through the motions and we're getting there what can everybody expect out of you on fight night? A show. I would say a show. Definitely a show. Definitely, you know, I want to prove to people what I got, what I'm bringing. No matter what the outcome is, I want people to know my name and know the God that lives in me. I love it. I love it so, so much. Oh, man, this is awesome. <laughs> one of my new favorite interviews. Definitely oh, thank you. Me. You're welcome. I'm going to be at the fight. I'm going to, I always take pictures. I told Tom, I sit there, uh, I'm like in the cage almost. And yeah, I take a ton of pictures for you guys. Oh, and, awesome. you know, I'm really, really excited to see you fight. And I really appreciate you taking the time out of the training to talk to me. And uh, especially about your faith and everything. That's huge. Thank you so much. Same here. I'm excited to see you guys there. <laughs> Me too. Me too. Is there anybody you want to thank, sponsors, gym trainers? The floor is yours. Absolutely. I want to thank, you know, certainly God first. I want to thank Him for saving me. I want to thank my family for supporting me throughout it all, for my mom and for my dad for just supporting me, you know, mentally, emotionally. I want to thank Mike, Mike, um, for supporting me, my teammates, Nate, Andre, who they're both fighting on the card too. I want to thank um, my sparring partners, Stevie and Derek and Ish from Floyd Patterson Boxing Club, everyone from over there. And honestly, everybody who has been praying for me and just supporting me through my whole way. Let's go, Andre. I love it. I love I'm it. You were such a go. great chick of body. Buddy. Where can oh, everybody oh, follow oh. you to see me? Instagram and Facebook, Twitter, all Fatima underscore Khan. I'm going to follow you after this, tag you up in a post. And uh, I look so much forward to seeing you on fight night. September 21st, Westchester County Center Aggressive Combat Championship 21. Fatima, thank you so much. And we'll see you in the cave. Thank you. See you there. You got it, girl. All right. Bye. Bye.